What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be going over all of the new takeoff cards in NBA 2K21, and this is the last takeoff pack, which is a little bit unfortunate, I'm just kind of hoping, I'm living in hope that next season we end up getting just something better, we, sorry, we end up getting something similar to takeoff packs next season where it's like guaranteed cards, which is such a cool concept, before we get on to if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, we are like 80 subscribers, we are like 80 subscribers off getting um, to, to 87,000 subscribers. So we're trying to hit that by the end of the day. Um, if we could, that'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. But anyway, I'm also live on Twitch. If you guys want to follow, uh, go watch me. I'll probably open the packs live on stream. And I will be still here. So, first player, Sean Bradley. Could they not have at least just made him... Oh my god, what? No! No, 2K, just make him Rick Smiths. Why could he not? Why is he worse than Sim Fular? No, 2K. Like, he's got T, first of all, he's got T-Rex arms. I get it, he's 7'6", but Sim Fular is 1,000 MT. And he's got plus 10 speed, a plus 45 three ball. None of them are shooting badges. Defensively, they're going to play the exact same. Oh, he's awful. He's awful. Like, Sean Bradley stinks. Like, I'm cool with 7-6 players. Sean Bradley sucks. He's awful. So then we got Vlade Divac, who's the free card. 7'1", seven 7'5", seven wingspan. Um, 243 pounds. He's from the Kings. 84 speed, 84 acceleration, 87 three ball. Can he play power forward? He can't play power forward. He's got 94 mid-range, 94 interior, solid defensive stats. Interceptor, Intimidate, Rick Ball, Post Lockdown, Worm. Goal Clamps. I mean, he's got Dimer, Post Playmaker, Bullet, Catch and Shoot, Corner Special, Set Shooter, Sniper. Set Shot 16 on Very Quick. He's the only player in the game with that on Very Quick. Set Shot 16 is not bad on Quick, because it's like, Pau Gasol's release is fine. Fundamental Dribble Style is okay. He's not going to move much. He's not terrible. He's not good either. Like, we went from Roko to Midtrail Sprewell and Vlade Midac. Like, he's fine. Like, Vlade is completely, completely fine in-game. He is completely fine. I just realized, have I... Oh, I, I quit I quit out of game. I was like, did I quit or what did I do? But, um... Vlade Divac is completely just fine. That's the only way I can describe him. He's, he's alright. He's not a great card, but I mean, he's... He's fine. Wiggins, this might be the most excited I am for a card in this set because he's going to be cheap. 6'8 with a 7 foot wingspan. Hot zones everywhere. 89 3 ball. Doesn't come with Chef or Blinders, but he does come with Circus 3s and Limitless Spot Up. Quick first step downhill. Got Clamps, Intimidator, Pogo, Tardis Defender, Golden Deceptor, 86 Interior, perfect defensive stats. Okay. Okay, Wiggins might be alright. Wiggins might actually be alright. Like 99 Driving Dunk. 95 speed, 95 acceleration. What was the other 99 stat in this card? Oh, it was only dunk. It was a first uh, maxed out. Shifty, his own behind the back. Kobe escape, T Mac combo. Pro size, if not great. Base 22 on very quick. Wiggins is going to be fine. Normal leader. Wiggins is going to be good. Like, like for 25k, Wiggins is going to be a perfectly fine shooting guard. He really is. He's not going to be the best player in the world. But, like, I don't think we can expect that. I don't think we can really expect Andrew Wiggins to be, like, the greatest player in in the world because he's a pink diamond card. But, like, for 20, 25k, Wiggins will be fine. Wiggins will be completely fine. I'm not a bad player for almost all of us. Now, this is a card I'm somewhat look excited for because Jason gets so good on defense. 98, 98. He's, a, he's just an invincible. He's an invincible minus the dunk in stats. Half limitless spot up. Mismatch expert sniper. Comes with chef. Comes with circus threes. No dead eye, which isn't great. Um, box brick wall chase down artist rim protector. No, doesn't have any of those, but he does come with like half interceptor, half clamps. Jason Kidd on, Jason Kidd on very quick is going to be an alright release, but quick dribble style, Scotty behind the back, good dunking. 
Tomahawks off one. Oh, no. Cockbacks. Back scratch. Like, he literally just has cockback dunks. You know what? He's not going to be terrible. Like, Wiggins is surprisingly just not going to be terrible on my team. Like, people are going to be like, oh, Wiggins sucks. Wiggins this. Wiggins that. Wiggins is fine. Wiggins is completely, completely fine. Like, he's got the pro um, escape. J I don't know what the Jason Kidd size up is. But, like, Wiggins is... Or, sorry, Kidd is going to be completely fine in that Dwayne Wade lockdown defender role. He's going to be in that, like, Dwayne Wade lockdown defender, secondary ball handler. He's going to be completely fine. Kid is fine. I'm going to call him Kid Wiggins. Kid is completely fine. He's not brilliant. He's completely fine. People are saying Kid's size of is nice. Now the moment of truth, lads. Jason Tatum. 6'8 with a 6'8 wingspan. Okay, I didn't bump his wingspan up. 96 3 ball, 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 80 in interior. But defense basically same as with your card. 98 driving. And he's 99. He's like 95 plus and everything that matters. Handles for days downhill, ankle break, a quick chain, quick first step. All the defensive eyes that he really needs at the two guard position, or at the guard ball. All the shooting badges he needs. Everything except lucky number seven. He's fine. Like, is his wingspan 6 8 on every card this year? I'm not gonna. He had a 6 11 wingspan just randomly on this card, and he's 6 8 on every other card. Tendo's perfect. Um. Shifty Scotty Pippen behind the back. They kept the Mike Bibby size up. I don't know what the Mike Bibby size up is. I'm not going to... Why are they giving everyone Shifty? Like, I get it. It's the second mess after quick, but, like, why everyone Shifty? Base 107 on very quick with his same upper. I mean, Tatum's going to be good. Tatum's going to be good. Like, if we look last week... Let's look at last... But is this this could be the second this could be the worst since the Glenner I set, I'm gonna be honest. So like if we look last week, I take off four. I mean it's as good as last week. Like Draymond Green is definitely better. Draymond Green is definitely better than Tatum, but all these cards are better. Like this week, I mean Dino's probably better than Kid. But like the lower cards are better this week. Um actually no, maybe not. Bradley stinks. So the pink diamond's better. I still think this is the best takeoff set we got. This is by far the best takeoff set. Take off three. This was like a god tier takeoff set. But yeah, this is a kind of... it's. I was kind of hoping for more. I was kind of hoping for more. And I was definitely hoping for more Divash. Divash is fine. Like, Vlade is completely fine. But like... Could they not just troll and give him like... Hot zones everywhere? Like, if they give Vlade hot zones everywhere. A 95-3 ball and range extender. Like, we'd be looking... Like, we'd be saying this card's pretty good. But, um... Nah, like, Tatum's good... I guess. For 80k, Tatum's fine. But, like, I'd rather just use Draymond Green. Draymond Green's better. He's just objectively better in almost every way. Like, there's no reason to use Jason Tatum over Draymond Green. Um, Kid's fine. But, like, why would you use Kid over Denny Anthea? Wiggins is completely fine. Wiggins might actually make some teams and be a good, a really good value player. Vlade, look who's going to use Vlade Divac. Um, Rick Smith is better than Vlade. Uh, Sean Bradley's a scrub. So yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.